what's up guys thank you for watching this video i hope that you are going to enjoy it uh this is my impulse rc apex era 7 build and a couple weeks ago this is what happened to this build all right guys so i have to say sorry for all the footage quality i never plan on using this footage on any video but pretty much what happened, I had my GoPro on the wrong setting. Uh, this specific setting required an ND filter and I didn't have an ND filter on that day. That's why the image is so overblown. But the reason I'm showing you this footage is that so you can see exactly what happened to the drone. I've been having issue with the ESC on this drone, some random issues. So on this day, I was just testing the ESC. I kind of wanted to stress it and to see if the ESC gonna end up crashing or something gonna happen to the ESC. And of course, that exactly what happened. So, as you know, with drone, every time something crazy happen, a drone will always find the worst place to land in the case of a crash. In this video, as you can see, I end up crashing in a freaking water. So, and the drone was in the water for maybe what? Two or three minutes the time for me to run and get it out of water now usually when you have your drone submerged in water people say that the first thing you should do before you pull the drone out of water is to unplug your battery unfortunately based on how the drone end up crashing in the water i was not able to unplug it so what i end up doing is take the drone out of water and unplug my batteries and of course at this point i'm thinking okay the whole thing is underwater. That means my receiver, my DJI O3, and of course the stack is completely wasted. So I went online and tried to figure out what do you do in case you get your drone submerged in water. There is a lot of options that you can do, but I went with this option because I believe this is the best option in case you get your drone submerged in water. And this option is pretty well known of all of us. I think some of us have used it with a cell phone. I did take my drone, put it in the bucket, and fill it up with rice. I let it sit for about two weeks and took it out after two weeks, and this is the result. The drone itself seemed to be working pretty good. Should should show you. I already plugged it in the first time, so plug the drone in. There you go. So uh, some of you may have recognized the theme song for the theme song I use on this build. But as you can see, receiver LED is on. I had it connected to my transmitter. Everything seemed to be working fine so far. And of course, the stack, you can see the flag controller lights are on. And my DJI O3 is also on. And also my GPS also on. So I uh, just wanted to show you guys the result. Uh, I let it sit in rice for about two weeks. So if you run into this issue, uh, give it a try, put it on some rice. There is a lot of option. There's a lot of thing you can do, but to me, rice is the best solution. And as you may know, rice is very good at absorbing moisture. And I have to say after two weeks, this thing was completely dry. I tried to take it out to make sure that everything was working fine, but my ESC in this instant end up dying. And as I said earlier, this ESC has been giving me problem since pretty much since I built this squad. Right now, uh, I think it's model two is completely out. When I plug in the drone and I start to spin the motor, model two is not spinning, but all other three ESC are spinning. I wonder maybe that's what was giving me the issue from the get go. Uh, just to show you guys, let me uh, arm the motor and you can see what the drone is doing. All right, so I'm gonna arm the drone. As you can see, all my motor are spinning except for this side. So this ESC is pretty much burned. And as I said earlier, it already was giving me issues. I think that's what most of my issues were coming from was from this one ESC. And I think with the water getting into it, that was enough to kill it. But except for that, everything else is working fine so far. Like I say, I haven't taken it out for a spin yet. So I'm gonna have to change the ESC and I may put another video to get it, kind of give an update about how the drone is flying. But so far, everything in here seems to be working fine. So my advice to you is going to be, if you ever get your drone submerged in water, uh, just get a bucket, get some rice, let, let your drone sit for at least two weeks. And after that, if you're lucky, everything should be working fine. Thank you guys for watching. Just a quick little video. And I hope that I will see you on the next one.